Hey, welcome back. Once again, we're launching rockets. Have you ever wondered how high is my rocket going? So whether you're launching it with a paper rocket or you're launching it with one of these 3D printed rockets, how high is the rocket going? Well, I'm here to show you an easy way to calculate this and then we'll show a way that I verified that these calculations are correct. So you can trust this work that these numbers do work. So simply what we're gonna do is calculate first how long it's in the air. And the simplest way to do that is not with a stopwatch, but with a video. Stopwatches are just too unreliable. Video is very reliable, so you record the entire launch. So make sure you get the rocket in the frame at both the launch and then the touchdown point. And it's really important that you don't employ any kind of parachute or other mechanism and that it's a vertical launch. Okay, so record the launch going now. You record it in timestamp right there and then you calculate how much time it took for that rocket to come down. That's the total time it was in the air. To find the total time that it took to get up to its apogee or its peak height, you, all you simply have to do is take that total time and divide it by two. Very simple equation. Now using this information, we can also calculate the velocity that the rocket is traveling. So this velocity is measured by the total time times gravity's acceleration, which is a negative number, so divided by two, or just the time of apogee times that acceleration. And again, it's a negative acceleration, but that velocity is going to be the number that we're concerned about. To then calculate the height, we then take that velocity, multiply it times the time to apogee, and then subtract out the, uh, uh, the drag, basically, that's being pulled on gravity on the rocket. So not the, not the physical drag force, but the actual acceleration drag. Or more simply, we can reduce it to this equation, which is just velocity squared over two times that acceleration due to gravity. So if we do that, it's very easy then to calculate the height that our rocket traveled. Okay, so again, that was really fast. So go back, pause, look at those equations. All you have to do is plug in those numbers. And when you do, you come up with numbers or a chart that looks like this, where you can see they're going about 60, 70 meters in the air. That's pretty incredible. Now, one of the things I wanted to do was to verify these numbers were accurate. It sounded right, but I wanted to verify it. So what I got was this micro peak altimeter by Apogee, and it weighs just 1.88 grams. It's the size of a dime, and it is fantastic. So to carry it, I had to design a new rocket. So I did that, printed it out. It fits right in that slot right there. So boom, we're gonna put the altimeter in right now. There we go. And then we need to protect it, so we're going to put some wadding into the top of our nose cone, put the nose cone on top, and we're ready to launch. And three. So now when this launches two, up in the air, one, watch one. what happens. All right. So that last launch, let's see how far it traveled. One, two, three, four, five. So 50, one, 59, 59.5 meters. So it's pretty cool to see it that way. But I wanted to verify it. So I launched these over 20 times. And then I compared the calculated, using those calculations, and versus the altimeter, and the correlation was amazing. They were remarkably correlated, both in meters and they can calculate it in the feet. And you can see these rockets are flying over 200 feet in the air. Really incredible. Thanks for watching. Now, here's a sneak peek for next time or sometime down the future how to put a video in one of these rockets.